If you are enjoying the content here on the Jerkmonger Show, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and please share. Thanks. Uh, today I want to bring to you a product I just purchased at my local art supply store. This is called a Rotring Art Pen. Rotring Art Pen. Uh, I don't know much about Rotring other than it's a German company. I think they are the guys who, the company that used to make, or still does make, the... Um, those special tech pens that a lot of artists used to use and drafting people used to use. What are they called? I forget the name of them. Anyway, they're a high-end pen company. I own this along with a pencil from Rotring, which is not that great, very plasticky. I saw this in there. This ran about 20 bucks, a little over $20. And it comes in nice, I don't know. I don't know, what do you call that? Oh, this is like an aluminum aluminum uh, pencil case you know, it's nice it has a little bit of an engraved embossing here with the word rotring kind of funky I like it right so you open it up and it has these instructions and there's the pens it has a bunch of little cartridges now you know I like I usually like my setup a little neater I, I prefer this stuff like little like little things or something but oh. I lost the cartridge. Some of the instructions are in German. In German, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess it's trying to teach me how to how to draw. We'll, we'll see. All right, so let's look at the pen itself. As you can see, I have my drawing tablet to uh, surface on an incline. So, so here's the pen. It's kind of nice. I, it's a little. It. I don't know. Uh, uh, this reminds me of like cream in coffee, and and it has art pen on it it says Rotring I, I you know it's a very light it's a very light pen it has a little pocket clip there I don't like it I don't like that it says EF and that's that's appropriate because I'm Elliot Fernandez yeah I don't know uh, look at that ooh that's fancy it's probably it's not a very expensive pen uh, as far as um, fountain pens go which I'm getting really into. Um, it's got a nice. I don't know what this is. This term. It's very plasticky. It's a. It's a. It's a cheaper pen, although it cost me twenty bucks. So if you don't, if you're not used to spending twenty bucks on pens, this is probably not, not the kind of pen you'd want to buy. But it, you know, it, it's it's supposedly a good pen. All right. So this is where the back of that come off, and can't see it very well. It's a little thing in there, and these things will pop in. So there's a, there's a little injector in there. Okay, this doesn't have some of the, sometimes these have like a oh this has some sort of like ball or something in there but anyway what you do is you puncture this little surface thing I wonder what that is I'm very curious about that so it's a hard plastic thing it might be it might be a little ball I'm um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this has a little little like a like a pin in there and it's gonna push into that ball or whatever that thing is and push it in and it's gonna create a seal and the ink will flow. It's not a very large reservoir of ink. That does concern me. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's go for it. Boom. And usually it takes a couple of minutes for it to kind of, maybe not so much a couple of minutes, maybe some seconds. There seems to be room in here. If I could find a, a uh, there's plenty of room in there to put like an adapter. I could probably put my own ink in something. It has this nice little red deal here. It's like it comes up a little bit, but I don't want to take it up. I want to seal it back down. All right. All right. So this is the pen prepped and ready to go. I'm not sure if it's going to work that well. So I brought out, we'll see. I have to go get my other little cartridge now. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. Now I'm going to bring out my handy dandy sketchbook. This is uh, my Moleskine. Moleskine, 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 whatever, whatever losers all right so I got some notes in here There's some ideas this is a brand new book I like this guys look at that drawing that's cool we're gonna test it out now on a fresh page fresh page here we go let's see what it does let's see if it draws nope nope not yet nope sometimes you have to give them a little oh it is 
It is shaking now. Oh, there it is. Well, I gotta tell you, I don't know if it's the paper or not. But I like it. I likes it. It's a it's it's a fine point. EF I think is extra fine. And I like that because I like to sketch with these kinds of pens. I'm gonna draw my favorite thing is to draw Batman's profile. I don't know if that's my favorite thing. The point I'm making is, is it, does it feel good? It feels good. And you know what? It is nicely balanced in my hand. It's a, It feels a little, like I said, it's a little light and it, and it bothers me a little bit that it's so light. But to be honest, I have other pencils that are heavier than this and I actually like the way this is kind of working out. Now, I haven't tried Rotring ink before. It looks like it's still kind of soaking into the paper there. Let's see something else. I'm going to test. I'm going to test if this is, I just lick my finger and do it again. I'll test to see how waterproof this is. And it's not very waterproof. So as you can see, it's my first line up here. Yeah. So I would like to eventually find in, I, I, I have an, my ink here. This is the ink I prefer to use, carbon ink, that I think is excellent for this sort of stuff. Now the pen, however, is excellent because it doesn't have enough carbon to clog up the pen, but it does have enough to flow nicely through the and stay black and stay waterproof or as waterproof as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw. I just skipped a little there. That's for me is the is the is the measure of the pen. It does it skip? Does it have you know. Now, what's great about sometimes what's great about these pens is sometimes they, if you can test it to see if it see if it actually like do you need to put that much pressure? And it's flowing really, really nicely when I don't put that much pressure into it. So that's a good sign. That way I'm not crushing the pen. Uh, also, this is not the kind of nib that you would use to, it's not a, It's not an art pen that you could use for, I mean, it says it's for calligraphy. Oh, oh skipping. I mean, that's, as, that's as thick as you can get it by pressing down. I don't know, it's not even pressing that well. I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. See, I'm drawing. When, you, when I do the lighter touch, it flows super nice. So it's not intended to be like a thick and thin. It's not like a Hunt 102 Crow, crow Quill that some people might use. It's not designed for that. And you, you can't, doesn't, draws okay like this, but I was having trouble at that angle. I wonder why. I like tapping. I don't know if that helps the ink flow or not, but I do that quite a bit. Some of it's just me feeling the paper. Anyway, I like it. I like it a lot. I can see myself using this to draw. Unfortunately, it is not waterproof, so I won't be able to add any color. I couldn't add marker to this. If you're going to try to use this with marker, you'd have to draw the lines after. You can draw with pencil, color the art, and then add the ink later to sit on top of the, the marker. Um, some people don't like to do that. That's it's hard because you, now you're trying to you're trying to anticipate your 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 boundaries. But if you can do it, I certainly recommend it. Um, it does feel nice. I can hold it back here even and draw nicely. It's very comfortable here, and I think that's why it has that length because. I don't have to, I'm not mashing down on the top of this like this. I can hold it comfortably back here and it feels really nice. I can, see what I'm saying? So I like it, I like it. What, what else can we sketch? Matthew Weldon has me. me crazy about patching lately not a good thing it's too long too slow but I do like the way it looks yeah so you know it's 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 not designed for for uh, thick and thin crow no hunt 102 crow quill 107s or 108s it's it's more designed for like a a, a, a constant line a deadline um, or a dead weight on the line and because of that, 
you know it's it's just kind of like working with something smaller um, I would compare the size the, of the line to maybe like a I don't know maybe as a, a zero I can't remember which micron it is not as not a zero zero five for sure maybe more like a I don't know not a one maybe a two maybe a two zero zero two whatever I don't know it has a little bit of that that feel of the so it does a little thick and thin, but that's more of like just like a oh like a, a you're just dragging that pen out. So the flow is working okay. I'd like to figure out if I can get a nice um, an adapter to work with this. To see, I'll have to look it up so I can use my own ink in here and maybe have that you know that piston a piston adapter or something like that in here to make it work. I enjoy work working with these pens now. Um, uh, I've always enjoyed, liked watching people work with them. I've always wondered what the allure was, and it's something more just about it's something like an old school feel that you're not just drawing with a hunk of, of something. It just feels right. It just feels right. Anywho, that's it. That's my um, that's my little my little demonstration here with the Rotring art pen again it's a little pricey uh, if you're not used to spending money I like this it has the Rotring logo in there and it says Germany Germany um, you know if you're not used to drawing with these type of pens that you can use other pens um, I, I've been just exploring um, fountain pens lately uh, I might do a little review of some other ones that I have uh, that might help you guys out if you're interested in this sort of thing I uh, know a lot of you guys ask me a lot, what kind of tools do you use? What kind of pen is that? Well, here it is. Rotring Art Pen. My first time using it. Uh, I think I like it. I like it. Even though it's a little light, it feels a little cheap. Um, but it's a good weight. And it fits nicely in my hand. And at the way I was holding it to draw, it's very, very comfortable. Now, if you're not, if you're not drawing that way, if you're tightening up on the end, it might be a little weird and you might get your hand in the, in the ink. And if you're sweating or if you're oily... In your hand or, or if you have other stuff on your hand you might smear stuff but um, but as as, far, as a writing tool is very nice I imagine I don't usually write with pens like this or any pen but well I do but usually I use on some other brand but anyway I like this all right glad I got it I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves I hope you guys uh, dig this kind of thing if you like this kind of content uh, let me know we can go from there I can do more of this type of stuff I, I really enjoy our tools I hope you guys do too. We'll talk soon. Hey guys, don't forget to check out Doom Kicker on Indiegogo now for a limited time with exciting perks like exclusive prints and a special Mike S. Miller cover. Back now only on Indiegogo. Hey, looking for a commission? Maybe as a gift or for your own personal collection? Email the labcomics at gmail.com for pricing and availability. Thanks. And don't forget to check out BigBridgeDesigns.com for more of your jerkmonger cool fun stuff. Like pins, prints, and stickers of all your favorite black and reds, mini mongers, and much, much more. That's BigBridgeDesigns.com. See the link in the description below. Thanks. <laughs>